Every time I speak, I want the truth to come out. And even if I get in trouble, you know what I'm saying? That ain't that what we're supposed to do. It's, I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world, but I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world. Yo, yo, welcome and thanks for joining. Once again, it's your boy F-A-C-E. Feet on the ground, ears to the street. Coming at you with another groundbreaking exclusive. Now, we done brought the bay to the world, traveled the world, and brought it back to the bay. Hey, y'all need to pay attention to everything I say in this here clip, man. This right here is going to be groundbreaking. And before I get started, man, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and tap in with one of the rawest West Coast podcasts on the planet. But anyway, man, let's get into it. We got some new leaked audio. Now, we've been busting... We've been busting down for the last two months in regards to this Nipsey Hustle information. I mean, we've been chipping away at all of the nonsense. And salute, man, Hassan Campbell, because he definitely broke the internet with that secret recorded conversation of WAC 100, and it's been a domino effect ever since. Okay, so we got Big U Niece, who was in... Basically, the whole story about this secret videotape with Nipsey Hussle. But let me tell you how that led to some new information that then broke this whole story, man. Now, there's a program in L.A. called Grid. And if y'all remember when Nipsey Hussle was first gunned down and assassinated, there was reports the first two days that he had a meeting with the chief of police out there in the 77th precinct. Now, Nipsey was smart. Nipsey was ahead of his time. He was on to something with that because we all know the situation with Big U, the extortion game, the things that happened to Nipsey Hussle, father and black Sam in regards to that confrontation. But behind the scenes, Big U was trying to get his little web of deceit and destruction and expand it and include the police department. Now, he opened up a nonprofit organization called Developing Options, and he was a contractor and is a contractor for the Los Angeles Police Department, 77th Prinksy. They gave him phones. They gave him a contract and they paid him five hundred and fifty thousand dollars. To keep tabs on everything that's going on in that area and to inform the police about what's going on in that area. Also, they provided him with a cell phone where they could contact him and he could respond to things that happened in that grid district. He could respond and he could respond in real time. Now, this ain't hearsay. I got the audio. I'm about to run this audio as soon as I get done giving you this intro. And don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe, man. We almost have 5,000 subscribers. I mean, we got reach right now on the internet, and we need to get stronger, man. We need y'all help. Hit that like button. Share this video so this video get out there. And interact in the comments. Let us know how you feel about this information. And really tap in and leave a comment after you hear this audio. Because this is going to blow your mind. Salute Hassan Campbell. Because he definitely broke the internet with this. And everything is being exposed now. So with this program that Big U had, he was basically on Nipsey Hustle. Like I'm talking about, you talking about even worse than an ex-girlfriend who's stalking you, who trying to destroy everything you do and feel like you owe them something. You ever had that type of relationship where it just didn't work out? Y'all don't see eye to eye. And now you got somebody who know all your business, who know where you be at. And just trying to make your life a living hell. Man, that's what was going on with Nip, bruh. That's why his last tweet was having strong enemies is a blessing. Who is a strong enemy other than this nigga and the police and they on your butt, bruh. They on your bumper. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened with Nipsey Hussle. And guess what? What was the agenda for the L.A. Police Department? They've been doing this since the 80s. Getting the gangs to go against each other and getting internal gang problems and drama or get or compromise somebody in that gang to work on behalf of the agency. They've been doing that. That's what the COINTELPRO is. 
So why would they want Nipsey Hussle out the way? We already know they wanted that property. They wanted that that prime property. They wanted that area. That was a hub right there, and it is a hub. And it's also a part of that new metro line they want to build. Man, they got to control that property. And Nipsey Hussle had to, he basically got into real estate, and he got that property, and they didn't like that. They didn't like how he done that. And then Big U didn't like it either because because Nipsey had Crenshaw. He owned a piece of Crenshaw and Big U felt like he was Crenshaw. Listen to the Drink Traps interview. Listen to the Breakfast Club interview. Listen to all them Big U interviews. You're going to hear it. You can hear the hate. You can hear the jealousy, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and run this clip. This is part one. We breaking the internet with this, man. It ain't no turning back after this, man. You know what I'm saying? We done brought the bay to the world, traveled the world, and brought it back to the bay. Once again, it's your boy, F-A-C-E. Feet on the ground, ears to the street. Coming at you with another ground-breaking exclusive. When she said, fuck the nigga, and this nigga wasn't paying me none of this money. He working with the police direct. This nigga, the police, what else he telling them and all this crazy shit. Here's key to since we talk about it, let's talk about it. Easy Miyaki, straight out of Clubhouse YouTube. But check this out. G R Y D. It stands for Gang Reduction and Youth Development. I'm about to show you some documents, and I'm about to show you the contracts. And I'm about to show you these contracts is dealing with Big U. His real name is Eugene Henley. They're dealing with developing options. And you're about to you you you're about to see what's going on. You're about to see why Big U is arrogant. Why he keep his chest pumped up. Him and him and whack and whack no everything I'm about to say, everything I'm about to show you, whack no. He know. See, he backed up by every major city official in LA. Yes. 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 Check this out. And Hassan Campbell, he did he did the right thing by recording. He did the right thing because if he wouldn't have recorded him and, and, and he just put it out there, guess what? Guess what would have happened? He would have denied all of that. And he would have got into an argument and kept going and going and going. But he, he got set out there. So ain't no argument. You said what you said. Now the world hear it. And now the world finna see this. Check this out. This document right here. City of Los Angeles. See what it say? Game reduction. See what it say? And y'all can go, you know, blow it up, go back and read it or whatever. You know, it say City of Los Angeles. It comes from the grid book. And, and these is documents from, uh, Big U's uh, contract with his his organization developing options. It's the gang reduction and youth development contract. He's the contractor. The contractor developing options. This is what it says. The title gang reduction and youth development. Said agreement is number C-126488. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, this is just, I didn't put everything in there. There's like two, three hundred pages. These are some of the, you know, table of contents and everything. You got the, you got the contract summary sheet that was uh, dated October 15, 2015. Mm-hmm. The contract number is on there again, C-126488. I know y'all like where are they going with this? You see the total amount, five hundred and fifty-five thousand for developing options. The contractor, Big U, is the CEO of developing options. Developing options contractors will provide gang intervention services in the seventy-seventh grid zone. That's the seventy-seventh uh, uh, precinct, LAPD, the police department. Okay, here's something else that I want you to see. Chapter two, incident response. It's a section one, 
CIW Incidents Response Protocol. CIW is Contracted Intervention Worker. It states, contractor, I already told you who that is, should provide 24-hour, seven-day-a-week incident response coverage for their contracted grid zone or secondary area zone. Okay. Jeez, Contractor shall assign on call CIWs on a monthly schedule and outline their assignments in the community engagement plan. CIWs shall have agency assigned cell phones to ensure a prompt response to incidents. Yeah, this nigga basically the police, nigga. Check this out. But what we hearing is a lot of rat literature.